my name is Tom Williamson and you might have seen me on some of Rick Mida's uh, videos already doing historical uh, pieces of the city. But I'm actually an artist also and I'm having an art opening today and so that's why Rick came to me to say hello and to have a look at some of my art. So here's a typical one of my pieces, uh, two meters by two meters, second like hors d'oeuvres uh, number five. I do all kinds of different kinds of art. I'm not a one type of artist. I like to do photorealism landscapes right on through to modern art like this. So I just, uh, Rick wanted to, to expose me a little bit to his uh, readers and his viewers. And so we thought we'd take some, uh, some images of my uh, work and show it to you today. So enjoy, thanks. Um, this is my second exhibit and I really wanted to thank the two people who can't hear me right now, Daniel and Fritz. Uh, they are really unbelievable. Their, their warm-heartedness and help really got me through this. They're such lovely people and they're so gracious with their time, their energy, their space, and their ideas. It's, it's really a comfort to have them as friends and it's a joy to have my second exhibition here. Um, as you can see, I do big work. Nothing is small in my life. That coffee table is the smallest piece of art I have ever done. <laughs> it's 70 by 70. And normally they get to be 1 by 120. And of course, as you can see, they get up to 360 long occasionally. They get out of control on that one. I'd like to very quickly just explain why I'm an artist. 13 years ago when I came to Berlin, I had never painted a work in my life. But I have always liked art. I always thought I could do art. I, have an, uh, I liked art in, in school. When I went to school, I liked to do art. And I had an apartment that's in Berlin suddenly that had huge white walls, this size walls, more of them than I could count. And I had all this space to put art on my walls, but I had no money to buy art. Curiously, some friends of mine from Australia, artists here for a job, were leaving. And they left me a two meter by two meter seventy big white panel uh, piece of muslin, ready to be painted. I painted the work on it. And a month later, uh, a modern art, a month later, American visitors came and they were like, Tom, this is good. You should do more. We will buy your next canvas. Let's go to the art store right now and buy you a canvas and paint. So I went to the store. They bought me a two by two meter canvas, huge. I had no idea what colors to buy. So I just picked colors off the shelf of acrylic, brought it home. Two weeks later, a friend of mine had a photograph of hors d'oeuvres. He was proud of that photo and how sharp his camera made the image. I loved the structure, but I thought, you know, the colors are boring. Let's throw it through the Photoshop computer program, see what comes out. Just change the colors values. The third time it came out, hold on a second. It looked like this. This one here. And I thought, oh, this is fun. Now we're getting in the right direction. Let's, let's keep going at it. The fifth time, I'll, this is what came out of the printer. And I thought, oh my god, those are all the colors I picked out two weeks ago to paint. I must paint this work. And there it is. So that's my second work of art. After that, it just fell into place. One by one, I started doing them over and over and over. And so around the room, the rookery is from a photograph from Jean-Yves Bertrand a man who goes around the world and photographs the earth from above. In his large, thick catalog book of the earth from above, I saw this image of this island in the middle of a black ocean with thousands of birds. I don't know why, it just hit me. I must paint it. I contacted uh, Mr. Bertrand and asked him if I could use his image, and he said, when you're done painting it, send us a photo and we will let you know at that time if you can use this photo, this painting or not. <laughs> so when I finished, I sent them an image and they said, oh yes, you may do whatever you like with that. As long as when you sell the work, it must say that it's from a photograph from us. Okay. So the next painting is of Jürgen, my partner here on the bridge. Uh, who I want to thank also for his hard work yesterday, for, for helping me for hours to set the show up. Um, he lives... Thank you. He has, he has to put up with me every day. It's not easy. Um, he lives not far from this image that I took. It's on a bridge on the southern part of Museum Island in Berlin, at Fischer Insel. I've loved the boats in the harbor, and I've always wanted to photograph it, so one, uh, three different times, I took a three-meter ladder, a big tripod up on the bridge, 
and sat and took hundreds of photographs at different times of day and night. Strangely enough, from all of the hundreds of images, that cartoon image that the camera took was the one I liked the best. And this is why I painted it first. But now I'm painting it again as a night scene, so it will be an impressionism night scene also. Same size, same view, just without Jürgen. Now I'll have a lady and her little boy in the, in the picture. The next across the, is this huge one, and this is done for the Turingen uh, for Tretum here in Berlin, an embassy. Okay, of the states of Germany. It's Turinga, Turingia, one of the states. They have a restaurant in their, in their embassy, and they needed new art desperately. I've been screaming for five years that they need new art. And so they said, okay, finally, do, do something and we'll see. So this is what I've done for them, and they're going to come have a look in the next week. I'm sure they'll buy it. They, they, they love me. And they're nice people, and it's good colors and wonderful structure for their restaurant. Something not too busy, yet really busy enough that you can stare and have a good time at it when you're waiting for your food. That was my idea.